Hey guys, it's Carly here for MFT, and today I wanted to share with you a card that uses a few of my favorite card making things. Some die cutting, some ink blending, a little bit of texture, and a big old word. To start, I've got the uppercase happy from the happy word set. I've got a white cardstock panel, and I've drawn a light pencil line across it to help me align my die before I use a little bit of low tack tape to secure it and send it through my die cut machine. After die cutting, I'm going to save the letters for another project and save the letter middles for later on on this card. I'm going to erase that pencil line and then I'm going to add a stamped word from the Happy Everything set. Now when I stamp on my project, I like to test it first. So I'm going to put that die cut panel in my Misty with a piece of acetate on top. Then I can ink up the stamp and stamp it onto the acetate to check the alignment and the placement of my stamp. If I like it, I can remove the acetate, wipe it off, save it for later, ink up my stamp again, stamp it onto my project. And if I don't like it, this gives me a chance to move it, shift it, whatever, make sure I'm happy with it before I commit to stamping on my project. Next, I'm doing just a little bit of ink blending. I've die cut some flowers from the Framing Foliage and Floral Adornment set, and I'm blending Distress Oxide to give them a little bit of color. Then I'm adhering those ink blended flowers onto my die cut panel. I've got them in the corners and I'm just using a glue pen to adhere them and then I'm trimming off the excess with a pair of scissors. And then I've got this great window panel. So I've used that negative die cut space of the happy word and I could fill it with a lot of things. Generally, I would probably make this into a shaker window because I love shaker cards, but this time I'm gonna add a little bit of texture by putting some embroidery floss behind that window. I've got some white embroidery floss on my craft mat and then my Distress Oxide reinkers. And I'm just putting a little bit of reinker on the craft mat with a little bit of water and rolling my embroidery floss through it to get a fun pink and orange ombre. Now I was actually going to use this thread to stitch something. I would definitely use an alcohol ink to turn it into an ombre or into a rainbow thread. Um, just that way I wouldn't have to worry about ink transfer onto my hands after it was dry. I'm gonna grab my heat gun and dry this off. Even after I've heat set it, it's still a little bit um, messy and kind of because it has that great chalky finish of the oxides, but it won't matter because it's just going behind that window. So I'm gonna grab my die cut panel and use it as a guide on top of my folded card, I'm drawing little pencil lines. That way I know where to put a piece of double-sided adhesive and I know where my thread needs to go. After burnishing the adhesive and making sure it's good and flat with no air bubbles, I'm gonna remove the liner paper and then I'm just gonna start pressing the thread into the adhesive and just looping it back and forth to cover it. So it doesn't matter to me too much what this looks like by itself because again, that die cut panel is going over it. I just wanna get the whole area where my window is going to show covered with the embroidery thread. And after laying all that embroidery thread down on the adhesive, I'm just gonna go over it one more time with my bone folder to make sure it's really good and stuck down. Then I'm gonna put some foam tape on the back of my die cut window panel and adhere it to my folded card. And that embroidery thread is gonna show through that happy word window. Then I wanna put my letter middles back in. and I'm gonna use the positive letter die cut as a guide. Luckily, this time they stay put together, which is just kind of extra convenient, but you don't need them to be together. Putting a little bit of glue on the middle of that A and then placing the whole thing back in the happy word window. Just pushing down on the part with adhesive and then carefully using my tweezers to pull up the rest of the A that I don't need. Then I just have to repeat those steps for the little letter P's and fill in their middles as well. And I'm going to add a little faux black splatter with a pen and call it finished. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired to craft today and I hope to see you here again at the MFT channel soon. Thanks again for watching. Happy crafting.